Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Reshmi and today I'm going to show you how to work this beautiful popcorn stitch. We're going to start off by making a slip knot. To do this, you're going to wrap the yarn around your index finger like this. Pick the yarn over from the left, move it over to the right. Let's do this one more time. Pick it from the left, move it over to the right. Let's slip it off your fingertip this time. Hold on to the two ends of yarn, pull them down to make this loop. I'm going to put my crochet in there and tighten my loop around the crochet by pulling on the end of it. Now each time when you're working your popcorn stitch you work in multiples of two so you can go ahead and chain any multiple of two that is required for your work. Now as I'm only working a sample piece I'm going to chain 20. So yarn over your crochet, pull through the loop one, yarn over, pull through the loop two, yarn over, pull through the loop three, just like this, go ahead and work the desired number of chains that you require for your project. I now have my 20 chains. Now, once you have your desired number of chains, you're going to start off by chaining three more. This is going to be classed as your first double crochet as well as your turning chain. So from here, we're going to work another double crochet in the fourth chain. This is US terminology. Okay, in UK terminology, that will be a treble crochet. So yarn over, locate your fourth stitch and stick your crochet on top of this chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on a crochet. Yarn over, pull through the first two and then yarn over, pull through the next two. Just like this, we are going to go ahead and work three more double crochets in the same chain. So yarn over, go back into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two and yarn over, go through the next two. I'm going to work two more double crochets in the same stitch. There we go. Once you've worked your five double crochets, bear that in mind that this chain three is also your double crochet. So I have five double crochets in total. So turn your work around like this and you're going to stick your crochet in the top chain here. Right there, this one. So I'm going to put my crochet inside this stitch like this, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch here to close this stitch and make a popcorn stitch. After this, I'm going to chain one and skip one chain, the very next one, and work five double crochets in the next one after that. So yarn over your crochet, skip one chain, go to the next one like this, just the top part of it and work five double crochets in the same stitch. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. And five. Once you have your five double crochets, you're going to flip your work over. So you're looking at the back of this. Okay, and this time round, instead of chain three, we've got a double crochet at the beginning. So I'm going to slip stitch in the top part of this double crochet right here, as you can see. So put your crochet inside and pull up a loop and make this loop go through the first loop that you had on your crochet. Turn your work back around and that creates your two popcorn stitches. Just like this, I'm going to chain one and follow the same method. Skip one chain and work another popcorn stitch in the next one. I'm on the last chain of this row and I've worked my five double crochets in there. Turn your work around from here and you're going to slip stitch in the very first double crochet of this group of five. Okay, once we've done this, this completes our first row. Now from here, you're going to chain one and turn your work around and we're going to be working on top of these stitches. Now, each time we are going to be working a row of popcorn stitches and then a one row of single crochets. This is double crochet in UK terminology. Now we're going to start off our very first single crochet in the middle of this popcorn stitch from my previous round. So I'm going to stick my crochet in the middle part of this. So where we have actually slip stitched, it makes a round like this. And I need to put my crochet in the middle part of this. So from here, stick your crochet in the middle, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through both loops. And that's my first single crochet. The next single crochet is going to be in between these two stitches. Stick your crochet in there and work a single crochet like this. The next one is going to be between the 
popcorn stitch right in the middle like this very next one is going to be in this gap stick your crochet in the gap pull up a loop yarn over pull through both next one is going to be in the middle of this popcorn stitch stick your crochet inside this popcorn stitch right in the center pull up a loop yarn over pull through both next one in the gap next one in the center of this popcorn stitch next one in the gap in this popcorn stitch next in the gap so just like this we're going to alternate one in the gap and one in the center of popcorn stitch to complete the complete the second row there we go there's my last gap and once we work the last gap we have to make sure we are fa making this popcorn face the right way because sometimes when you work the very first row it does tend to just go backwards so i'm going to flip it over so i am aware of where the back is now the back is facing me i'm going to stick the crochet in the center of the back and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops now this creates my perfect popcorn stitch Initially, the very first row is quite fiddly and it will be all over the place when you make it. But once you do your single crochet row, everything should settle down and it should fall in place. From here, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And go back into the very same stitch, the first one, and work four more double crochets. That's my first one. Second. Third one and here's my fourth one and once I've got my four double crochets and the chain three I'm going to turn my work around and locate the first chain the very top one here I'm going to slip stitch in this top chain to make my popcorn stitch like this from here the next one is going to be again on top of my previous popcorn stitch so I'm going to be missing one stitch and work five more double crochets in the next stitch after that one two three and here's the fifth one again once you have your five double crochets, turn your work around, slip stitch on top part of your first double crochet right here. Chain one and move on, skip one chain and work five more double crochets to make the popcorn stitch. Following just the same method, you can finish this row and work as many rows as you like for your project. I'll see you at the end of this row. I'm now at the end of my third row so we're going to work the last popcorn stitch together each round should have exactly the same number of popcorn stitches so you can easily see exactly how many more have you got left to work so from here I'm going to yarn over miss one single crochet from my previous round and work five double crochets in the next one so work five double crochets which are treble crochets in UK terminology in the same stitch here that's three four and here's my fifth one once you have your five double crochets turn your work around and we are going to do the slip stitch on top part of this double crochet from the very beginning and once you've done this this completes your third row from here chain one and i'm going to quickly show you how to do single crochets one more time and then you can carry on working on this stitch so once you've worked your one chain we are going to work single crochets on top of each of these so you can now clearly see this time round exactly where the center of the popcorn stitch is so we're going to go in the center yarn over pull up a loop and work one single crochet next one is going to go inside here in the gap that's my second single crochet one in the middle of popcorn stitch and one in the gap in between the popcorn stitches from my previous round and just like this you can finish this row as well 
Again, when we're working our single crochet in the last popcorn stitch, it does tend to turn sideways. So move it over again. So you are facing the back towards you and stick your crochet in the center of this. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Now, when you do this single crochet here, this makes the popcorn stitch face the right way. And this completes your fourth row as well. Now I'm going to close my work off here. I'm going to chain one and go ahead and snip my yarn off. Pull it out of this loop and pull this stitch down to secure it. Now from here you can go ahead and use a darning needle to work these two ends in and work as many rows as you like to finish your project. If you enjoyed learning this stitch with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.